Hello everybody, welcome. I am Dawn. This is Reef Decor by Dawn. Come in, say hello. Thank you for joining me today. So, thank you all for joining me today. Today is Friday. We are doing our Friday Live. My regular night is Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern, and I do Fridays at 2.30 in the afternoon. Let me get that off of there. That's showing me my live up there on that, too. So, All right, so today I'm going to be doing this little table side sleigh. So we're going to make a little centerpiece for a side table. Um, it's kind of got a little woodland uh, look to it, so we're going to kind of go with that theme, or try to anyway. So I'm going to do that. So welcome everybody. Come in, say hello. Tell me where you're from if you're new. And I'm going to put the camera down so y'all can see what I'm doing. If you have any trouble seeing, just let me know. Thank you guys for joining me again. All right, I know it's hard to see up above when you're doing a centerpiece or something, but hopefully next week I will have a better view for you. Um, I'm getting a new tripod set up, so hopefully that'll work for us. But for now, we'll just uh, continue on with this. Thank you all so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. All right, so all I did was take this little sleigh. It's about um, four inches wide and uh, roughly 10 inches long. So it's not a real big piece. It's nice for a little side table, um, maybe for uh, the side of a buffet or something in your dining room. Um, hello, Sandy. And um, I put, I put, well, when I first did it, I put, um, parchment paper inside of it, sprayed it with the gaps um, and cracks foam, and then I let it cure. Welcome from Pennsylvania. Thank you so much for joining me, Darlene. Welcome. And then what I did was after that, this will come out. I did not glue it in because it's pretty snug in there, but I'll pull it out so you can see it. I wrapped it with some self-sticking uh, moss so because you can see through this basket. And I didn't want to see the white foam. I want to see the, the pretty greenery. So I want to put that in there and cover that up. And that's what I did. Hey, Nancy. So then, of course, you can see there's a big gap there from the foam. But that's okay. Not a problem. And then I just slide it back down in there and push it in so that it's secure. It's not going to come out. You can see. And this was already attached. So we're not going to take that off. We'll leave it on there. Got all that greenery from it, pull, trying to pull it out, all that moss off of it anyway. <laughs> if y'all wouldn't mind hitting that share button down there, I'd really appreciate that. Let your friends know that we're on. Maybe they'd like to come and watch. And if you um, share it, you can also save it to your page so that you can rewatch it later if you don't have time to stay and watch the whole thing. So I have this little poinsettia that I thought I would use. Um, I only have one of them, so I thought it would be good to go ahead and use that up. And it's got the gold um, on the tips and the edges of the leaves. So I'm not gluing anything in just yet because I want to make sure that where I'm putting everything is where it's going to stay. So once it's harder to move it once I glue it in. So with this being a smaller arrangement, I don't have a problem with going back later and re-gluing everything because it won't take me that much time. All right, so I'm just putting this in here. And if you've never used the Gaps and Cracks foam, it's really a good idea to use that for containers and that. You just have to be careful on which containers you use it for. Hello, Melanie. Some containers, if they're, thank you for spreading the love. I appreciate that. Some containers, uh, thinner, if they're a thinner metal, it will tend to blow out the seams if you put too much in there. So it's always good to put like an extra little stick or something down in the side of it. That way when it expands, it, it kind of gives it a little air pocket so that it won't blow out your um, containers. And you don't want to fill them very much either when you put that stuff in there. Um, a little goes a long way. All right, so I have a bunch of little scraps here that we're going to use. I save all these little scraps that I didn't use on other projects. So we will fill, use those as fillers. But I have this, and then I have some pine cones here that we're going to use. And I have some other little picks off to the side here. Um, most of this stuff is like leftovers from other projects. 
Um, what you do with the gaps and cracks, um, you put it. You can put it in your container. So, like this is a basket. It's made out of wick. Uh, um, like it's almost like the twigs and grapevine. Um, and what I did was I lined it with um, parchment paper. Cookie Lady was talking about me last night. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Um, I lined it with parchment paper and I sprayed it in there. So if you have a container like this, that's that's the way you would do it. And then you don't want to save the, the um, can of, of gaps and cracks. Once you open it, you want to try and use it all. So when you get a bunch of containers together, fill it up that way. Fill them all up and use that can up because it will harden in there and you won't be able to get it out um, again. It comes with a little straw to help spray it and that will clog up as well. So what I do when I open it is I make sure I have a bunch of containers that I wanna fill. I know you guys can only see my hands right now. Sorry, I talk with my hands. Um, but I have a bunch of containers that I will fill them up and whatever's left, I will lay out wax paper or parchment paper or even a, a trash bag, cut a trash bag open and lay it out on a table and then just spray patties. And they'll look like round, um, we call them cow patties, but they look like round patties. Um, and then you can use those uh, for other projects too. If you need to put some on, say you needed just a little round piece of foam on a, um, a wreath frame or in a centerpiece or something, you could just attach that piece. It's just like using the green foam, but it's cheaper because you're getting it in the can. You can spray as many containers as you need and you don't have to fill them up with all that green foam. It's a lot more expensive for the green foam. So I have these other picks that I got. Um, these all came from uh, AC Moore last year before they closed. And then a couple of them came from Hobby Lobby. So we'll use those. And then I have some like little glittered balls and some coarse berries. And then I did get these yesterday and I was trying to find something that looked a little more rest rustic. Oh, you're very welcome anytime. Um, and I thought this guy looked, I got these yesterday when I was at Big Lots. They had a pack of three of them. They're made out of cork and they've got all, they're supposed to be ornaments, but we'll just take the ornament hanger off of it put a skewer in the bottom of it and we can use this as our little um, man in the in the sleigh. I don't have a little Santa or anything like that. And like I said, I was trying to go for that little rustic woodsy look. I don't know if I like this flower in here or not though. I might have to take that out. And then I've got some little presents, but I don't know if I'm gonna use those or not. So I just pulled a whole bunch of stuff out thinking we would just pick and choose from it. Yeah, it is cheaper to buy the spray foam. And like I said, you can use it for so many different things. So I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of the way here so we can go ahead and start. I'm trying to see if I like this or not. I guess I, I just need to kind of go with it for the moment. And then, Maybe it looks better that way. Anyway, this is one of those things you never know what direction you're going to go in. So I'm going to use these little green picks, this pine up to fill in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some of them off. So how's everybody's Friday going? You guys having a good Friday? Good start to your weekend? Let me pull my hair back so it stays out of my face. Yeah, I think I like it better at the back than off to the side. All right, so let's cut some of these off. These have thicker wires in them. Um, let's see. So I hope y'all are having a good start to your weekend. I have been cleaning and Trying to see where I want to cut these. Be easier if I could just cut them off and that's probably what I'll do. I'll cut them off and I'll use my steel picks to put them in. Because there's a bunch of branches on here, but they're not the branch, the main branch is pretty thick, but the rest of them are not. So we'll just go with it. Well, good. I'm glad you're having a good beginning of your weekend. I feel like I'm always trying to clean up. 
You guys feel like that when you're in your craft room? Feel like you're always cleaning? I spend more time cleaning than I do anything else and it's getting frustrating. <laughs> I have no room, you know, so I'm constantly moving things around and I've outgrown my space. Well, I'm glad you're here too. Hey, Teresa. Uh-oh. Cleaning your bathrooms? Yeah, I wouldn't be happy doing that either. All right, so we'll save the other two and see if we need it. So off to the side over here, I have my pick machine. Um, I'll move it over so you guys can see it if you've never seen a pick machine. I got mine um, on the Facebook Marketplace. Um, I got it for like 60 bucks. I got a really good deal on it. The only thing it did not have was this weight, which you do need, um, but my husband located one for me and now I have it and it works great. And all this is is steel picks that you can use to put on the ends of your uh, florals in that to help you put them in. So like this here, there's no stem or anything on the end here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push a uh, pick forward and I'm going to just take this and lay it in there and then you squeeze this down and what it does is it puts a pick on the end of it so that you have something to stick into the foam. So it squeeze, clamps it around the ed, end of your um, pick, your piece. So I know, it's it's uh, it's awful. I'm just constantly moving things around and trying to make more room and it just... And with these steel picks, usually you won't have to um, glue them in, but it's always best to glue things in, especially if you're selling it. And I will go back and glue stuff in. Um, but right now I'm just tucking them in there. Like I said at the beginning, this is a smaller piece, so I don't have a problem with going back and um, gluing it afterwards. That way I can make sure I'm putting stuff where I want it. And if I have to move anything, I can do it then before I glue it. Because, you know, sometimes when we're doing it, we don't always like the way it turns out. Hey, LaVon. <laughs> You're always on time. How you doing? All right, so I'm just going to put these in random places all over. Not too close together. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know what, Teresa? Keep an eye out on your Facebook Marketplace. That is where I got mine. I had to drive about 30 minutes to get it, but it was worth it because I got it for $60. And these things sell for a couple hundred in the store. Brand new. But the guy that was selling it, it belonged to his grandmother. And um, they uh, he didn't say why they didn't need it anymore, but they didn't need it. So I was really happy to do that. And it was worth the drive for me to get it for 60 bucks and like I said the only thing it didn't have was the weight that you need to hold the picks in and my husband found that for me online and um, I don't know what he paid for it but I can't imagine it was very much so I'm just giving these some life by bending them a little bit in the direction I want them to go Anybody have any good plans for the weekend? Going to do anything besides clean craft rooms? Seems like that's all I ever do anymore. I was supposed to have two of my grandsons this weekend, but they're not. one of them isn't feeling well, so we're going to do it next weekend, I think. You can go on to the Facebook Marketplace and put in what you're looking for, and it'll show you, you know, how close the, the people are to you. I mean, I get stuff that shows for Florida. Obviously, I'm not going to drive to Florida for a pick machine. That would be silly, but... All right. 
So there I've got that started, and if I need to fill in any more, I will. But let's put some of these other things in place too. So these little picks I wanna go ahead and get rid of. I only have two of them left, and they've got the little berries in them and the little mini pine cones. You've got that Halloween costume party. That sounds like fun. So I'm gonna put these in. Let me cut a little bit off of the end. We don't need it to be that long. So again, this would look really cute on a side table, on a buffet in the dining room. So it's a smaller centerpiece, piece, <laughs> smaller piece, I should say. Well, that's true if I was coming to visit you but if I were just going for a pick machine, that would be silly. <laughs> Might as well just pay the couple hundred dollars online for it, right? So I'm just cutting off the ends. It's not that deep. Um, it's probably, oh, I'd say, let's look, four or five inches deep. So I don't need these to be that long. Move these berries here. So don't forget if you're new, come in and say hello. Tell me where you're from. Yep, that one will end up having to be glued, definitely. All right, let's see what else we've got here. I've got this little one that's got these little birch branches tied up. Looks a little rustic. Maybe we'll put that over here. This one came from Hobby Lobby probably uh, a couple years ago. Yeah, they don't have the years on them. Thought maybe they did, but they don't. And they've got all the little pieces in here. They've got the pine cones, they've got the little birch branches, and then they've got some pine pieces. So again, we don't need it that long. Hey Belinda, how are you? And if you're just joining me, the reason I'm not gluing this in is because I want to make sure that where I'm putting everything is where I want it to go. And then because of it being a smaller piece, I can go back and glue these in without a problem. Most of them are little picks. So it's just a matter of pulling them out and pushing them right back in. Hey there, Sue. There we go. So that fills in this little corner here. So you can't, with me putting that moss around that foam, you can't see that underneath here. So it's a good filler. And then I will add some more of these greenery in the front here. That'll cover up the foam there. Um, let me put in some different textures of pine because we have several here. Here we go. See, this one's got a couple different pieces on it. Let's go ahead and put some of this. I'm going to use this whole pick piece right here to put in for maybe a little height. We don't need a lot, but a little. Oh, that was a hard one. So if you're new to my page, again, my name is Dawn. This is Reek Decor by Dawn. I do my lives on Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern and Fridays at 2.30 Eastern. There we go. So this has different textures and different varieties of pine, so that'll work. And there's flower tends to, the leaves tend to spread apart in the back there, so that'll take up that space. And we can bring it into the flower as well. So if you have any trouble seeing it, let me know. I can adjust the camera, okay? All right, so... 
This one is that softer pine. It's really soft. Um, that came from Hobby Lobby as well. I don't think I want to use that. I'm looking to see what I've got laying here first before I get anything else. Anyway, I was going to say, if you're new to my page um, and you'd like to get on my email list to get notified when I go live, um, you can just type in the word email and I will send you the link after this live for you to get that. You can do the same if you want to get my um, supply list. Um, and it has things on there like my ribbon racks, my glue pot, my glue gun. You know, the, the things that people ask me the most where I got them from is what I put on the list. And they're all clickable links. And it is an affiliate um, list. Which only means that it doesn't cost you any more to purchase the items from that list. But when you do, I get a small percentage. Very small percentage. But just type in the word supply and I will send that to you as well. And I send those in your private message so as not to um, get a little nasty gram from Facebook saying I'm spamming people with my links. Well, that's not too far away, Sue. You have a closing date? That's awesome. It was almost three years ago. Well, it was, sorry. It was three years ago that we moved back here. It was ten years ago that we moved up to New York this week. And all those memories keep popping up on my Facebook telling me to remind me that we had moved to New York ten years ago. <laughs> All right, so I have some of these berry picks. These came from my supplier. We're going to add in some of these because you can't have Christmas without red berries, right? Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. I do put all of my lives up on YouTube as well. I edit them and put them up there so you get a little bit shorter version over there. Don't want that on there at the end. And these are just little foam berries. But we're going to use a pick. What was I saying? I forgot what I was talking about now. Oh, about YouTube. Yep, I put all these videos up on YouTube, so today I will be editing Wednesdays and this one and posting them over on YouTube for anyone to watch over there. Because I do have people that like to watch on YouTube rather than over here. some in the back over here. Oops, wrong one. Nope, nope, nope. Get that off. That's exciting. Get to spend Christmas in a new place. That'll be fun. Are you getting excited? Hey Dawn, how are you? Alright, let's see. We need one right here. And then we probably will be done with these. Are y'all getting anxious for the holidays or no? I 
usually am, but I don't know. This year, not really. I guess because everything is so different this year. Alright, this one's going to go in between these right here. This will be the last of the berries. And next week, hopefully, we will have a new view for you if my order ever gets here. And I will hold this up so y'all can see it um, as soon as I get it done. These, the heck, something's roll, running across my roof. Probably a squirrel or something. Either that or something fell on it. <laughs> All right, so I have these little glittered balls that came from Hobby Lobby as well. Okay, I don't know why this thing keeps spitting out too, but don't need to right now. Okay. That one didn't squeeze it down tight enough, so I'm just going to tighten this. Make sure it doesn't poke anybody, especially me. You'll love it without the snow. You will love it. That's cute. Let's try the, um, put some pine cones in here. I got these pine cones that already have picks on the end of them. So we're going to go ahead and use those as well to fill in a couple places. But I'm going to put this in first. All right, so what I want to do is I want to take this hanger off of them. So that all we see is his little knit cap. And then he's made out of cork. So we're going to poke a hole in him. Hopefully, I'm going to have to use my ice pick here. Just going to make a little hole in the center down here at the bottom. And then we'll put some glue on the stick. And then we'll put it right inside there. And then I'm going to wipe off this excess glue right here. Don't need that much on the bottom. All right, we'll let that dry for a second. While that's drying, let's put in some more of these greeneries. Um, let's try some of these. I have a, I save all my little stems in that. Um, I don't see any in here though. Oh wait, there's one. No, that's too big. Let's um, let's see what else we got over here that we can use. I have some. Oh here, let's use some of these. Let's cut up some of these. We have some lamb's ear, frosted lamb's ear, or um, what do you call them? Flocked. 
and some flocked um, eucalyptus. So let's put some of these in as well. We don't need very big pieces, so let's cut this one down. So I just cut it down and I'm putting a pick on them. If you don't have a pick machine, you can still do this by using those little wooden sticks that you get from the um, craft store. You just have to wrap the wire around them really tight, that's all. So we're just gonna poke some of those in. What happened? Oh, I have to take the tape off of the other picks. That would be nice. You have to take this off. So let me, there's my scissors. I'm gonna get them in here because I don't want them to fall all over the place. They probably will anyway. All right, where's my knife? There we go. Okay. Just have to be really careful taking that piece of tape that holds them all together off because if they don't stay in line, that'll mess everything up. You'll have them all over the place. So once I put them in there, I am just giving them a little bit of a tighter squeeze. But yeah, you can still do this with those other uh, wooden picks. You just have to wrap the wires around them. I want this to lay down. There it goes. I don't want anything standing up that's gonna poke anybody. Hey, Shirley. Welcome. I like that. We're gonna put him in in just a second. I'm gonna cut one more piece off. Um, let's see, we'll do it from here. Yep, those are all the way down. All right, let's see, where else are we gonna put a couple? Let's put one right here. And I'm not pushing them down very far in. Just enough that they'll stand up. Um, I haven't heard from them yet. Um, they said it would probably be next week when I hear from them. So hopefully soon, I'm really hoping soon. Trying to find somebody that's had the uh, surgery, carpal tunnel surgery done, that can tell me, um, because I haven't talked to him yet, you know, that's what I'll be doing is meeting with the surgeon, um, that can tell me like, you know, how they do the surgery. Is this like something they gotta put me under for, or? Because I've never had a surgery before, so, or of any kind. So I just have some questions. You've had it done? Do they? Is it local or do they, they have to knock you out for it?
Oh, I have to go to sleep? Yeah. Oh, oh well. So I like I can't sit there and watch him do the surgery then, huh? <laughs> all right, I think I got all those in there. I might put a couple more later, but we'll wait. They knock you out, okay? Well, I was hoping they wouldn't, but. I don't know. Like I said, I've never had any surgery done before, so nothing ever. Now, my sister, on the other hand, she's an old pro at surgeries, man. <laughs> that girl's had more surgeries than I know how to count. All right, I'm going to put some of this lamb's ear in as well. I might put this. No, not there. You know what? I might be taking that flower out. I'm not feeling it. Not watching. Well, you just took all the fun out of it. They have to force the blood out and, oh. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. What's the recovery time? Do you, is this something that, like, I'm not going to be able to use my hand for a while? Or, I've heard some people say that, you know, they were able to do stuff right away. God bless it. Why is it doing that? We're going to have to fix that. Let's keep shooting out too many of these picks. I think I have my thing in backwards. So I get out of cooking for a while too. Is that, is that what you're telling me? Okay, now you're making me mad. This thing is really going to make me mad over here. Two months? Ouch. Well, somebody lied to me when they said they were up and about in no time. I like it better without the flower. Two months. I'm just filling in with greenery here and there. Filling in some open spots. We're gonna put the, the snowman in here. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that. We'll put him in and that way we can build around him. Maybe I'll do it behind here. See, that's why I didn't want to glue anything in because I can pull this back out now and move it. All right, so we're gonna put him back here in the, in the branches a little bit. Whoop, no, I don't want to go that far down. There, that'll work. I don't know if you can see that, but let me tilt them over this way so you can see them. It's cute. And then we'll put some more greenery in there. Yeah, that's good. That works. Hey, Josh. Took a nap. Well, at least he's sleeping. Yeah, I like it better without the flower, too. I thought it was going to be cute, but 
I'll have to find something else to use it. And I only have that one flower left, so I was trying to use it up in something, but it'll have to be something else. And then I will go back and glue all these in. It's not as bad as you would think, gluing them in. He's smacking in the face. <laughs> Tell him to smack you for me, too. <laughs> all right. See, that's the good thing about having all these little extra pieces is you can use up most of them in these smaller projects. Get rid of them. You don't have that laying around anymore. Um, I do have some holly picks or branches. I don't know if I want to try. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. What the heck, right? See, so we got different stems on here that we can take off. Let's see. We'll just poke a few in. Oh, that's cute. That might work. We'll just put a few in. Put a few here and there. So don't forget to share this for me if you wouldn't mind. I would appreciate that. If you're new, tell me where you're from, where you're watching from. I do go back after my live and welcome everyone who told me they were new, so. Make sure you do that too. All right, I'm gonna put another one back here. And we'll put one in the back. Where'd that other one go? Here it is. Make sure you like and follow my page if you're new also. That'll keep you up to date with when I go live. If you don't want to say hello, then just hit one of the emojis there. It'll give me a thumbs up or a heart. I'd appreciate that. All right, this was the last one of these. There we go. Turn him this way because this is the side that he'll be displayed on. All right, let's see. We've got almost all filled in. I need a couple more fillers where I can see the foam because we don't want to see that. So I'm going to throw in a couple of these. I don't know. Let me see. I'm going to put one more up by the snowman. Yeah, that'll work there. Let's move this around so that that lamb's ear will move that around so it's not sitting all in one big clump. Move those leaves so that it's spread out a little. All right, I need another piece right there. I'm 
poked me under my fingernail on that one. All right, I'm gonna move this eucalyptus over just a little bit. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. All right, that's where that little void was in the center of that spray foam. So I'm going to push this one down in there to fill that void. There, that's better. Now we can't see any foam in the center. All right, then we're going to do, I need a couple more pieces on the front so that we can cover up that where you can see the foam. So I'm going to put two more pieces there of this. I need to push that pick back in there. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the front just to cover up that. We don't wanna see that foam up front. Whoops. I don't think my machine likes me today. It is not cooperating at all. can bend those and then I'm going to put one of these pieces here in. Just to break up all that pine. Oops. Go in the foam please. There it goes. All right, and we'll use this last piece. That'll get rid of all those loose pieces I had. We are almost done. A few more seconds and we'll be done. Well, not seconds, but minutes. Uh, let's see, there's the foam. There we go. All right, so let me take a look around and make sure we can't see any foam. Over here needs some greenery, but it's not foam I see, it's just an open spot. So let's fill that in with two more pieces, ouch, from here. What was that? Getting stabbed by things. There we go. That'll work there. And then we've got one more here. And this goes right through that um, self-adhesive moss. All right, let's put one of these in. Uh-oh, what happened? Got stuck in there. I'm telling you, that thing just doesn't like me today. All right, I'm going to lift this up, and we're going to go right in here. 
I'm just filling in any open spots that I see. And then I'm going to take and make a little tiny bow, little three loop bow. And we'll see how that looks instead of the flower. Some of these can be maneuvered around so that they're not all sticking straight out and up. And then when I go back and glue them, of course, then they'll be in different positions as well. So another piece right here. Thank you. There we go. All right, I'm gonna put in a pine cone right here by him. Doesn't need to be this long. Nope, let me try another one here. There, that'll work. Because we have the little pine cones over here, and then I am going to put this one over here. Because we have a little gap right there. There we go. All right, so there's that. Let's see. Let's do a little three-loop bow real quick. So I picked this material, but now that I'm looking at it, I probably needed some red and uh, black buffalo because that's what's in his um, scarf. I'm going to do six-inch tail and we're going to do a four inch loop. No, oh, it's got to be eight inches. You can tell I don't do them by hand very often. And then we're going to pull this up. I'm going to do another eight inches. I see you, Nathan. And one more. Eight inch loop. I'm just gonna scrunch that all in together. Hey Linda. So this one is a little shorter. Let's get those out. Nope. This one right here. Hello from Toronto. Thank you so much for joining me. Trying to get them all about the same length here. All right, I'm gonna use a zip tie because that gets it tighter for me. Oops, that didn't work, hang on. Hang on. See, this is why I don't do bows on lives, guys. All right, let's try it this way. Twist it that way. One. Those two are the same. That one's a little long. There we go. Now it's on there. All right. Well, I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. I do appreciate you being here. I know that y'all probably could be doing other things on your Friday. All right. I'm going to pull this tight. And then I will cut off. All right. There we go. Let's cut off the zip tie. Actually, yeah, I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to take 
half a pipe cleaner. I could have just stuck it through the, the end of the zip tie, but I want to cover up my zip tie. So I'm going to wrap this around it and twist. It is frosted eucalyptus. There's this one is the frosted eucalyptus, and then I also had the frosted lamb's ear. And those came from Carolina Pottery. All right, so this gives me a little bit of a stem on the end here. Wow, my feet is way behind. I'm still making the bow over here. Um, and I'm going to cut that off a little bit. And then that's what I'm going to use to put the st uh, stem on from the pick machine. It'll grab onto that pipe cleaner there. Go this way. Let's open up these loops. And then I'm going to put this right down into the greenery. And again, these are nothing is glued in yet, so I can always move it around if I need to later. And as I'm gluing it in, everything will kind of be different in a different place. Not too much of different, but all right. So let's move these loops around so they're not all clumped up together. Pull some of this stuff into the bow. Yeah, I think I might need to change that to match his little scarf. That would probably be better. I might change that after the live. Oh, where's my other scissors here? All right. So there it is. I'm going to put the camera up so I can hold it up so you guys can have a better view of it. But there we go. There's our little sleigh. See the little snowman in there. There's the close-up of the basket so you can see what that looks like. So like I said, it's not a very big piece. It's a little table side piece. But if somebody has a farmhouse theme or a rustic theme for Christmas or a room, this will work really good. Here's the back. And then there's the other side. So it looks good from all around. There's the front. You can't see any of that foam through here, through the side, because I wrapped it with that moss. So you can see better back here. See, before you could see the white from the foam. Now you don't see that. So I might change out, if you look at the bow compared to, it doesn't go with his scarf. I might change that out. Thank you. I might change that out to match his uh, scarf. Because originally I wasn't planning to put him in there. So that's why I chose this ribbon. But now that I put him in there, I think I'm going to change it. But it'll be the same kind of bow. So, all right, guys, that is it for me today. So I want to thank you all again for joining me. I appreciate it. Again, if you want to get on my email list, type in the word email. I'll send you the link. Also, for the supply list, you can do the same. Type in the word supply. I'll send you a link to that. They're all clickable links for where I buy my supplies, like my glue pot, glue gun, mat, scissors, all that stuff. The, the things that people ask about the most. So... All right, guys, have a wonderful rest of your Friday. Enjoy your weekend and be safe, okay? I will see you all again on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye.